Hi students, we're going to uh, learn Where Air You Walk from Semele by George Frederick Handel. Um, and this music is widely available online, so you'll need a copy and a pencil. Um, you can find free PDFs online. I've chosen F major as my key for today because it's just a really good universal key. Um, yeah, so make sure you've printed a copy off if you can or have it on your iPad. Um, and um, we'll be marking in um, where the consonants go at the ends of phrases, where to take the breaths, that kind of thing. And then we'll do a bit more work on the interpretive side of it a little bit later on in a separate video. OK, here we go. It's in 4-4, so we're going to take a really slow tempo. Our speed is one, two, three, four. Where are you walk? That K really needs to come on the fourth beat. So let's just do that again. One, two, I'm sorry, one, two, three. Again, the D right on the fourth beat of that bar. All together again. One. Where are you? Call Gail Shelf and the Glade. Carrying on. Trees where you see. exactly the same thing trees where you sit the t right on the fourth beat and the d of shade right on the fourth beat again these are really voiced consonants we really need to hear them okay go from trees where you sit which is the fourth bar Now we're going to put all of that together as far as we've got. So a couple of different things in there. So a typical handle, he extends the length of the phrase once he gets into his stride. So we're going to need to take a breath after sit and shade lasts for two whole beats, three and four with the dirt right here on the bar line. So just going from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six bar. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. Okay, let's do that whole first page. So we're really going for the accuracy of all these cutoffs. Trees where 
ashamed. And the other thing I just will draw your attention to is your ooh vowels. Often they just need a little bit more purity. And just being careful with the small words like ah, not a, uh, always a nice ah sound, ah shade rather than a uh, shade. And we're going to move on to the second page. And it's exactly the same thing with these consonants right on the fourth beat there. Three, four. that again I just decided to do the whole page because it does all kind of flow on each phrase from the last one so the same thing up here where are you walk on the fourth beat cool gale shall find the glade on the fourth beat again trees where you sit the t on the fourth beat again and then it gets a little bit interesting this is all one phrase, so we're not going to put the dirt of shade on here at all. This is all a little sort of ornamental passage. The dirt is going to go right here on the fourth beat once again. So we'll just cover that first. So it goes three, four. Shall crowd into a shade. So even though it doesn't look like one phrase, it actually is, even though it's got rests in the middle of it. So I'm going to do one of these dotted bar, um, phrase marks, sorry, just to remind you to get the feeling of going through, even though there are rests here and you can take a breath, but they have to be silent. I'm going to put that one in brackets because you won't need both of those rests. So from this part again, the trees crowd into a shade, shall crowd into a shade. So three, four. Shall crowd into a shade. Trees where you sit. One, two. Shall crowd into shade and the dirt again right on the bar line there Hope you can see that right let's do all of that page again so we're going to go from the top here from where are you walk so three breathe into a little bit of um, piano interlude and then I probably should have said this at the very beginning this is what's called a da capo aria if you look here right at the very end it says dc al fine which means da capo to the end so what we do is we go back to the very beginning da capo literally means from the from the head from the top so when you've sung the whole aria all the way through you go back to the beginning and you sing the first section as far as this sign here where it says Fini. 
and that's where the aria ends. So the structure is A, B, and then back to your A section again. Okay, let's just do that page one more time. This is an interesting part with these rests. H Handel was the master of um, building suspense in his music, and that's what this is about. Trees where you sit. Wait for it. What's coming next? Shall crowd into a shade. And once again, it's all one phrase. It doesn't look like it and it kind of doesn't feel like it, but you have to sing it as though it's all connected. So it can't sound when you have these two crotchet rests and the half beat rest, can't sound like you've gone off for a sandwich or something in the middle of it. It still has to be part of the same phrase. So it has to have that feeling of motion through the rests. So this second page, three, four. section. I chose F major for um, for this aria. It's widely available in many keys. F major is a great sort of universal key. It's really good for young tenors whose voices are just sort of changing and settling. Um, but you, if you're a soprano, you might want to sing it in B flat. It's available widely in G. It's available online. It's free. You can find free PDFs of it. Um, so our B section, in this case in D minor, relative minor, three, four. Where are you tread? And again, it's really important to place that D on the fourth beat. Three, four. Where are you tread? A blushing flower shall rise. And again, the Z of Z rise going right on the fourth beat. I'll just put those two bits together for you. Three, four. Where you tread, the blushing flower shall rise, and all things flourish. So the next little bit from and all things flourish after rise three four and all things flourish and all things flourish so they're a sequence and all things flourish taking the breath there the shirt going right on that fourth beat again and all things flourish the shirt on the fourth beat once again Let's just cover those again. Three, four. And all things flourish. And all things flourish. Where are you turn your eyes? Where are you turn your eyes? Where are you turn your eyes? So here here, where are you turn your eyes, the z of eyes, right on the fourth beat, and a breath, of course, where are you turn your eyes. Now you're going to need to snatch one in there. By snatch, I don't really mean snatch, there's always time for a breath. So right in there. Let's just cover those where are you turn your eyes from the first one. Three, four. Where are you turn your eyes? Where are you turn your eyes? Where are you turn your eyes? And then we head back 
to our A section again. But before we do that, we'll just put all of that B section together. So three, breathe. I've started my A section again and you'll have noticed that I've added some ornaments in this time. So this was standard practice for music from the Baroque period. Um, if you have any form of repetition, you would ornament to keep it a little bit more interesting. So when you have an ABA or a Da Capo aria, you would always put some extra um, embellishments into the A section just to keep it really interesting. So what I'm doing here is where you walk. So I'm adding in an extra B flat here and making those two two quavers. I'm sorry, that's really difficult to read because there isn't much room. So where you walk. And the Kurt still goes right on the fourth beat. So again, we're just doing an upper descending ornament just making the F a quaver and the E a quaver. And the dirt right on the fourth beat again. Trees where you sit. And here, you can fill that gap in with a B natural because we've just had a B natural in the um, piano part, so not a B flat as per the time as per the key signature, but a B natural. Shall crowd into a shade, and again that upper falling ornament, just dropping down from the E to the D, and then moving on. Trees where, uh, sorry, we could do trees where you sit. So going up from the F, trees where, making that a G and making them all semi quavers. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. So all you're doing there, to, to, just oscillating between the D and the E. To a shade. And then we're going to carry on. So you can do one of those little lower ornaments here. So you're going from the A to the B flat, making them two quavers. Cool. And again, you can fill in this third. Cool gale shall. So just coming down the scale here. Cool gale shall. Just filling in the gaps. Cool gale shall find the glade. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shed. Trees where you sit. One, two. Shall crowd into a 
and then there's the play out. I'm going to sing the whole thing now and um, later on I will record it with a backing track um, and we need to talk about some interpretive um, choices as well which we'll do in the next video. This one is all about just accurately learning the notes and the rhythms. So here we go. been helpful for learning the dots and for learning the words and next time we'll look at some interpretation of the text and the phrasing and some dynamic contrast. I hope to see you all next time. Please like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.